Tonight, the ink is drying on the new state budget signed by Governor Whitmer just a few hours before tonight's midnight deadline. The, the governor using her red pen to veto nearly a billion dollars worth of spending, including funding for roads. Mara McDonald is tonight in Lansing with the latest. Mara. Hi, Devin. Here's the situation. The governor and the Republican leadership at this hour are essentially trading barbs with one another. Um, you know, status quo. But the reality at this hour is this. You have got no budget shutdown happening at midnight. You have more time for them to come to some sort of a deal on major ticket items like road fixes. In a sign of the times, the governor used Twitter to send out this message tonight. I had to use the line item veto to try to clean up budgets that were a complete mess, built on phony numbers, using funds in the wrong way, usurping executive power. These are important things that I had to eliminate from these budgets. And the Republican leadership fired right back. The Speaker of the House, Lee Chatfield, saying, quote, this whole budget impasse was silly and avoidable. Now that the governor's shutdown threat has been shown to be simply empty words, the cameras will stop rolling and headlines will move on. Hopefully that means she will finally come back to the negotiating table and get back to work. Whitmer's line item vetoes include nixing $375 million for roads. So what does it all mean? With a budget in place and no shutdown, more time for Whitmer the legislature to craft deals for roads that everybody may not love but can live with. Back here live, some things to watch tomorrow. Let's see what happens with the governor and more budget machinations, meaning this. She has the ability to move money within departments, money that's already been appropriated. So is she going to keep the money where the Republicans want it in their budget, or is she going to get in there and move things around? In addition, Devin, I think we're going to get a chance to see all those 147 line item vetoes, something that we have not as of yet tonight seen where it all goes. Back to you. Well, going to need some extra money for ink pens, I would think. Uh, this is an extraordinary use of the line item veto, isn't it? Well, it's it's very aggressive, that is for sure. And, you know, I've been covering Lansing in various forms for about 25 years, and I've never seen a governor have such an aggressive yeah. line item veto in a budget. So this is not the norm. Um, Sure gets everybody back to the bargaining yeah, table, seems, though. Seems to back be historic to in that respect. Exactly right. We'll continue to follow. All right, Mara.